Good evening, everyone. For Attleboro, starting number zero, Ashley Messia. Woo! Number one, Alexis Campbell. Number two, Emily Atonic. Antonic. Number six, sorry about the name. <laughs> number six, <laughs> Megan Panzer. Number seven, Isaba Saliati. Number eight, Emily Han. Number 11, Jessica Gates. Number 12, Ashley Dame. Number 15, Ashley Piazza. Number 16, Sophia Salviati. And number 20, Julia Rays. For the Mansfield and Varsity Hornets, coached by head coach Kevin Smith, assistant coach Robbie Mack. Sasso. Number zero, Olivia Salisbury. Number seven, Maria Savastos. Number 13, Keely Smith. Number nine, Taryn Smith. For your, this year's senior captains, number four, Karen Sears. Number 14, Megan Crone. And number 18, Erin Dooling. Good luck to both teams. Welcome everyone to tonight's game between Attleboro and the Mansfield Lady Hornets. Good to be back with you again tonight, Tony. YouTube Ryan and the rest of the crew that we have up here. We need some high energy today with needing some points to qualify for playoffs and we are starting off hot already. Good energy to start this game, Tony. Just like we have up here in the booth, we got our videographer, Bob Jean. It's been a steady staple the entire season. And then we got our producer, Matt Gemignani. He's done an incredible job feeding us some good tidbits here. We, oh, there's a head of by Taryn. Right to the goal. I like it within about 45 seconds of the game. Already have a shot on net. I think Mansfield's definitely come out with a lot better energy today than they have in a few of the prior games. Well, nice, off the nice part about this is the last time we played Attleboro earlier in the season, it was a 2-0 win for us. So hoping to duplicate that. Attleboro answering back, coming right down the field. A shot on net. Olivia Salisbury with the catch. All right, first minute of the game, a shot <laughs> on net, both ends. All right, be a throw in for Attleboro. Nice work by Karen Sears. Mansfield coming off that good win last Friday night against North Attleboro, 1-0. Glad to see they've come out of here with a little sense of urgency today. Points are 
Points are much needed to con keep in contention to get in the playoffs. Katie Miller taking it up the middle of the field, dishing it off. This goalie's going to win that foot race between her and Sacco. I think Katie was thinking 22 was going to take a little bit of a run. A little miscommunication there. Yeah, last week's game against North Attebro was a good game, but just ugly weather. Came out with a 1-0 win there. Well, tonight's perfect night for soccer. No wind, definitely a little bit cool, but no wind on the field to speak of. The flags at the end of the stadium here are completely still. Throw in from Mansfield. I'm sure Bob will get a, get a picture of those flags at some point tonight. I don't know if we can reach that corner. You know, I have to get the camera out the window. Another throw in for Mansfield. Sacco getting a foot on it, but not all of it. Stopped by the Atterborough goalie. Atterborough sending their player. Pass forward, block in the middle, gets by Maria. But Just nice job briefly. getting it back by Katie and Maria on the double team. Be a throw in for Mansfield off of Attleboro. Attleboro with the throw in. Nice step up by Katie Miller. Being pressured by Karen Sears. Another shot on Olivia. Savastos did a nice job running in between the defend or the offensive player and, and the goalie there to help There's Olivia out. Abby Oppenheim with the ball. Tony, it's nice to see all these games in, you pronouncing Oppenheim the right way. Well done. I've been practicing all week. My daughter gave me a hard time about that, so I made sure for this week coming in, I had it down. I had to try to drop the Rhode Island accent to get it correct, though. Attaboe with the push going up, feeding. Maria Zavastos there to stop. Sorry, that's Aaron Dooling. That's going to be a foul on Mansfield. Free kick for Atterborough. I think the ref was debating that for a minute, whether he was going to call that. Kick through to Olivia to pick up. Roll out to Maria Savastos. Play it to Taryn Smith. Karen Sears. The Adabo player battling for that one. Karen Sears with the win would be a free kick for Mansfield. Bounce to Kaylee Smith. Go, go, go. 
Nice job by Megan Crone to turn that ball. She's got some running room. Sends it back to Karen Sears, who sends it forward. It's a foot raise for Karen to Megan. Oh, nice idea, great cross to Terrence Smith. Just a little ahead of her. Goal kick for Attleboro. Throwing from Maria Savastos. Katie Miller to Karen. Back to Abby. To Aaron Dooling. Some nice passing, just Attleboro getting in the way of the last pass. Foot race the the corner. Oh, still nice got that cross corner by off. Great play there by Attleboro. That was a great hustle, great move to get the ball across the box right in front of the goalie. Taryn Sears foot race. Attleboro kicking the ball out. Throw into Sarasako. Keely Smith to Taryn Smith, who's on sides, who can make a play. Gets a shot off on net. Katie winning the battle, first of the ball there. Out on Atterboro, Mansfield throwing. Nice to see Mansfield winning first of the ball on some of these goal kicks. Out on Mansfield. Stepping up in front of that one. Free kick for Mansfield. Aaron Dooling taking the kick. Saves it from going out. Abby Oppenheim. Oh, two players offsides that time. <laughs> Love the aggressiveness, though. That's it. You're going to have to stay very active this entire game. We'll see how Coach Smith decides he wants to do the substitutions tonight. See, we're going to have our first substitution in a few minutes. There we go. Karen Sears getting it out. Just ahead of Sarasako. Katie Miller stepping up, winning the ball off that. Just tremendous effort all year by Katie Miller. There you go. There we go. Katie. Out on Mansfield. Katie Smith having an opportunity there. Great defense by Isabella Lennon. Have our substitutions coming in. The 
Looks like Avery Hawthorne and is that Cooney. Yep, Catherine Cooney, Cooney. number twelve. Oh, I had a Cooney getting her head on it. Bunched up in the middle here. The hustle from Cooney. Cooney just coming off injury has missed the last two games, or was it three full games that she's missed off injury? So I think she's got some she's energy and she's ready to go. Yeah, she's definitely missed the last two games. Inside sources say she's been easing her way back in via practice, so. Nice. We'll have to see how many minutes she gets tonight, but thank, thankfully she's back on the men and back contributing. Oh, see Bridget Hanley in the game as well. And Abby Jean. Mansfield's definitely got a lot of speed on the field right now. Let's see them take advantage of this. Abby sending the ball up, can get through. Oh, out on Atterborough. That would have been nice to see it go through. Great move on the ref there to avoid getting hit. Hmm. Looked like Bridget was gonna do a burst of speed there and go by her, but Atterborough got their foot in there. Miller coming up hard and fast as usual. Uh, a little give and go by Atterborough. Aaron Dooling's having nothing to, of that. Sends it all the way back to the goalkeeper from Atterborough. Gives her team a quick, quick breath. Big bounce. Aaron stepping up. Oh, got a nice talking by Katie Miller there, letting her teammates know she still had it. Tony, I don't know if you noticed this, but there's been so many games where you see Katie Miller use the outside of her foot to make just a pinpoint accurate pass over to her teammate. Well, she definitely you see that a lot from her. Just a quick tap on the outside of that foot and it just leads her teammate perfectly. She definitely has the foot skills, the speed, and the aggressiveness. She's definitely Kaylee got one of those. Kaylee Smith with a nice turnaround there. Definitely got one of those motors that just doesn't seem to stop. Well, you think when she plays the f plays the game, mostly the whole game, and does not stop from beginning to end. Looks like we're chasing a little bit here, but yep. need to take back control of the ball here. I think we got a little out of position while out of barrel kept position, and they're just kind of passing around us right now, making us chase. And out of Burrow to the outside. Good battle in there. Abby Oppenheim with the win, kicking it out, out of bounds. Need to pick up the pace a little bit. I think we kind of got comfortable chasing the ball here. Uh, it looks like Attleboro's dictating the play. And we don't want to see that. We want to see Mansfield dictate, make the Attleboro team chase them. Same thing. Get that out. Nice job by, I think that's Meg Crone to get it out. Or Katie Miller, Run actually. right by her. Took a ball right in the, or foot right in the face, it looked like, but. Cooney sending it to Avery. Avery. See you later on that one. Come on, Avery. Same thing, chase that one down. She's right on the defender. Adabo does a nice job getting it out to the sideline. Bridget Hanley with the wind. Same thing, just a pass, just a split second sooner. That was a very fast switch of the field from Mansfield. Good job there. Now they just got to keep this up. We talked a few minutes ago. There's Cooney. Let's see if she can win that one. About bringing in the speed. Again, a young team, 
that we, Mansfield has out there. Just you kind of kind of see those split section second decisions that they try there to make. There we go. Kaylee Smith in a foot race. Oh, and the goalie totally from Attleboro missed that one. You know, I gotta think it's it must be hard for them on the field seeing a goalie in a gray shirt. Usually they've got nice bright colors. I was just one if she didn't go at the goalie, it could have had a chance. Let's see, is that a throw in for Mansfield? But as I was saying earlier, just with the young team being able to make that decision just a split second faster on getting rid of the ball versus keep dribbling. I think it will all come in time. Katie Miller, Aaron keeping it in. There's something, Aaron Dooling's reaction time on defense to get back on a play, actually when she can go and be aggressive to go after a ball, but still can get back on defense. Well, we got two Mansfield people wanting to throw it in there. Well, the ref was pointing white. <laughs> Substitutions coming in. Looks like Lauren Hobaker. Pass up. Let's see. Oh, I thought Avery had that one. Nice aggress aggressiveness coming up on the ball. Uh, whistle off sides. About two yards off. I'd like to see them kick that ball about five to eight yards shorter to give their team teammate a, a chance to get underneath that. We're kicking them so far down, we're basically just kicking it to the goalie. Like this, they got to shorten that up just a little bit. Put a little bit more loft on that ball. Especially with the speed there we you got go. it now like that. The same thing. That one's going to die at the 20. Oh, not a good kick. There you go, Bridget to Avery. Just over ahead, but on the outside, here comes. Streaking. Lauren Hobaker had a chance. Forces Atterborough to kick it out of bounds. I think that's a young team we were talking about, Tony. I think in years to come, you'll see that ball go a lot higher in the air and give their teammates a little bit more of a chance to get underneath that because they obviously have the speed to get by the North Attleboro defenders. Let's see with the kick, kick Looks right like now. This might go in. Curling around beautifully. Who's there? Oh. oh Savastos came up. Attleboro did a nice job of tracking her. There was a player right there when she was going to come to the ball. I couldn't see Coach Smith's hands, but I know in a game against Canton, he gave the, the Whirly Bird sign, and Avery tried to kick that ball in during that the Canton game, almost went in. Thought he was going to do that again. Nice save by Katie Miller. Here we go. Oh, just offsides. That's a tough one. Not a bad first half here, Tony. We're about halfway through, and... I would say the energy level is a lot better than it has the last home game. Absolutely. Kind of started off hot, coming back hot again. Kind of going a little bit back and forth. Attleboro had some time of possession in between there, up until about 20 minutes. Again, I think that's just one. Again, Bridget has to get rid of a little bit sooner. Bridget Hanley has great foot skills. That's just kind of going against some of the seniors and juniors on the Ottawa team. Just want to be able to get rid of that ball just a split sec sooner. There's Avery winning the ball there. Avery gets to the ball. Can she keep it in? She got a little bump, but no call. A little shielding by the Ottawa defender.
Karen Sears back in the game, along with Ooh. Isabella Lennon. Inverted hand there. Hoping to get one off. See, That's definitely on side. Let's see if Cooney can get there, control it. Let's see, get one off. Who's yep, in the middle? Get there, Avery. Avery there, keep up, keep up. Got to fight that. Same thing, who can get on that? This is one, Katie Miller stepping up. There you go, Katie winning it. Same thing. Oh, oh. Good aggressiveness there. Got to keep this up. Ooh. Always get a little worried when the girls leave with their head hey, like that. Exactly. Out on Mansfield will be a out of both throw in. Same thing. Nice work by Aaron Dooling. Just a little bit of us clustered, kind of out of position. Nice job by Lauren Hobaker to win the battle. She's got two on one, got the ball sent down the Atterboro end. Just over the head of Eddie oh, Oppenheim. Oh, they can't call that. They got tripped up together. That's a bad call. This is one when I don't like when somebody from Mansfield's not on the ball right away because right now the person can kick it. They don't have to wait for the ref. They didn't ask for 10, 10 yards. Both girls running full speed at that. They just happen to get tangled up. It's so hard to say whose fault that was. Let's see what Mansfield does here. You're right, they haven't asked for the 10 yards. That's going to be out. over. All right. When you don't ask for the 10 yards, it's, it's not a dead ball. You can actually put the ball down and kick it. You don't have to wait for a ref's whistle. Well, I think Mansfield learned early in the year, if you recall, that game where they, they got caught off guard a little bit. Seen, yep, and I've seen it happen with the boys as well. You know, you take your time to set up a wall, and before you know it, the ball's coming at you. <laughs> Great job of Bob zooming in there. Really was able to capture that visual. There we go. Ball gets off the foot of the Attenborough defender. She's got to kick it back. Has There's to send no it way. back. This is a, look at that short kick. Someone's got to step up from Mansfield on those. I can hear the Attenborough coach yell to his team from here. There you go outside. Oh, again, that was about a half a yard offsides. It's a good call by the ref, but just barely offsides. Again, you need our Mansfield players to be aware of where the defender is. Well, that's where communication comes into play. When you see the opponent start to suck up, you gotta you gotta be able to yell to your teammate, get back, get back. We got subs on the front line again. Coming in is Taryn Smith. Again, Sarah, Sarah Sacco. A little bit of a. There's nice control of the ball, just the next pass. We just got to make that second pass. Ooh. Oh. Yeah, she was jumping back. That's kind of cheap. So yeah, that absolutely a trap. Producer Matt there calling it a trap. Yep. Just got the official call from the back. Yeah. It's kind of, you always kind of get trapped if they're not playing a traditional sweeper in the back who usually kind of hangs back there. You're usually going to get trapped and be off sides. Mansfield girls, usually Aaron's always hanging back. So we don't really get that call a lot of having the opposing team off sides. Oh, 
Out of bounds on Adderbro. Be a Mansfield throw in. Megan Crone. Isabella Lennon. Back to dueling. Look at Abby Jean coming on. It's Fresh a foot legs. race. Yep. Nice. Can she get one off? Oh. All right. She tried to take a shot she, on net. It was nice with Taryn Smith kind of coming up the middle as well. She shot that at about 60 degrees. I'm sure she wanted more like 80 to 85 degrees. She would yep. have had Taryn streaking. That's tough to kick across your body running at full tilt. Karen Sears with a head on the ball. Nice job by Isabel Lennon. That's going to be a foul on Taryn. Taryn, what a nice win. Just a little sound. Just off the feet of Sacco. I about sending it back to the keeper. Oh, you're not going to get your leg that high up over your head to stop that ball. You're going to get your body on that. Mm, you know Katie wanted to sprint right through them. Katie saw a lane. She was running through the offensive line. Little dummy move there. Let the ball go through. Oh, uh, that's going to be a call. Be, that'll be a free kick for Attleboro. And again, look, nobody's paying attention. Takes takes a kick right on. I got to give it to Attleboro, number 12. She knew that as well. She was not waiting. She looked at the ref to ask if she could go and get rid of the ball. Katie had enough. She wanted to get everyone settled back in, so she just kicked that ball out. And see his kicking the ball up. Taryn's got to get on her horse there. Be a throw in for Megan Crone. Nice throw to Taryn. To Sarasako. Again, we got to get that pass. I think, again, we just tried to dribble a little bit too much. You need to see a spark here, Tony. It's a little yep. flat, in my opinion. There you go. There's Karen Sears. Aaron dueling with the header. That's uh, dangerous. Takes a bounce. Maria Savastos. Adabar coming on strong there. Abby Jean. Not giving her a free shot at the ball. This ball, ball will be a throw in for... Attleboro. Getting a little chippy. I think the girls are getting a little, uh, both teams getting a little bit aggressive. I like it. I Shows they care. Absolutely. I always get a kick out of watching Abby Jean get aggressive because she might be shorter, but there's very few people who can move her off the ball. She is strong. It's a handball just outside the box. Mansfield free kick. Aaron Dooling launching one over midfield. Same thing. Don't overrun it. Let's see. Taryn Smith in a foot race. Shielding by Attleboro. We'll go to the goalie. Done almost eight minutes left in the first half. Katie to Meg. Adelboro steps in front of that. There you go. Some there running go. room Way for Meg. Send it now. Kick oh. it. I'd like to see Taryn get to that ball. Uh, just kind of, I think, a pass on the wrong side of her. 
I think she was looking for it on her left side. Ball went to her right. Abby Jean with the ball. Same thing to me. I like that play a little bit better. She passed it forward versus trying to dribble it through the two defenders and giving herself a shot to get it back on the ball. Again, going to keep Mansfield on sides. A little too much individual play right now. They got to start banging this ball around to their teammates and stop trying to get too cute with the uh, with the dribbling. You got to keep that ball moving. It'll actually help with their spacing as well. Caitlin Smith back in the game. Again, that one she's going to roll to the goalie. There you go. Who's going to win the next one to the ball? Again, nice passing right there by Adebro. Moving the ball forward. Ball to midfield. Oh, that's trouble. Oh, nice job by Aaron Doolin getting in front of that ball. That, that girl was teeing that up. Midfield's got to switch the field here. Got to get some passing throw on middies. Oh, nice step up by Atterborough. Caitlin Smith there. There's one for Taryn or Sacco to get to first. That's the way Sacco right on it. Making the defender work and turn the ball. By now, here's Atterborough coming up the sideline. There we go. Stay on side. That's good. That's now, fair. That's now a it's foot a foot race. race. That's just a matter of who wants that one first. I agree. Mansfield's got to keep the, the ball possession here. Producer Matt said Mansfield's had the ball 68% of the half so far. <laughs> there we go. Step up by Meg Crone. Again, out about turning the ball. It'll be a throw in for Mansfield. <laughs> Isabel Lennon. Trying to get that ball, working hard. Nice trap by Atterborough. Pass back. Again. Nice pass, Caitlin Smith. Trying to defend. Shot to the middle. Cross, get that out of there. Nice job by Aaron Dooling to clear that. And again, it looks like we're all out of position, just kind of chasing the ball. Definitely a little helter-skelter here, Tony. Yeah. You'd like um, to see the girls back here in the front for Mansfield communicate a little bit better when that ball's in the air. Someone's got to go after it and try to try to take possession of it. Let's see if we can win the bounce here. Sarasako getting it off there. It's the foot race. That's Taryn. Let's see if she can. Oh, nice. Let's see. Can she keep going? Uh Again, Sarasako's got to call her on that one, I think, to let her know she a rip from Isabella Letting from the 40-yard line. Again, just a little communication up around the 15-yard line there would have been a little more helpful to them. Yeah, the pr about pressuring here. Kicked out of bounds by Mansfield. Adabo throw in.
Again, just kicking this ball through. Just seems we don't have our forwards in position when the ball does come up. How about taking the ball out wide? Nice pass back to the middle there. Shot, this is one Liv has to come up to go get. Oh, that's interference with the goalie. That will be Mansfield's ball. Can we gotta win that ball. Be a free kick for Atterboro. Less than two minutes, so clock's being held on the field. Let's see what happens here. Nice kick by Atterboro into the box. That's just dangerous, kind of leaving it in the middle. Nice work by Cooney to get that out. Now again, it just kind of was scrambling to get positioned. Throw in. Throw in for Karen Sears. Definitely Attleboro's had most of the possession, I'd say the last six minutes of the game. Ever since our producer, Matt, gave me that Gave us our statistical yeah. analysis. I think we might have to challenge him on that later. Somewhere around a minute left in the first half. That's it. Uh, maybe two seconds. <laughs> All right, so at the end of the first half, 0-0. Zero, zero. We'll be back after halftime. All right, welcome back after halftime. Starting the second half, a new 40. Minutes on the clock. Out of our obsession of the ball to start. Nice, that's what we want to see. Beautiful, here we go to Ben Crone. One more touch. A lot of chatter at halftime there, Tony. I, yeah. I think I heard Mr. Savastos out in the stands. He was just cheering like mad. That's it. I like the way that came out. It looked like we were trying to possess, through, run the plays through the middies. Karen Sears, the same thing, be aggressive. Meg Crone. Again, we got to get away from a little bit of the kick and run because out of our defense just traps us off sides. So if we can work the ball through our midi, it's going to force the defenders to stay back. Out of our throw in. There we go, out. Throw into Sacco. This feels a little reminiscent of the Taunton game. Where we had so many chances in the first half, didn't capitalize, and then just ended up having them. Katie Miller to Sears. You have a lot of opportunities, yes. Yeah, more of a struggle that game than it needed to be. Aaron Doolin kicking the ball out will be a Adabro throw in. Uh, 
free kick for Attebro. Set to the middle. There's the pass. Somebody's going to step up. Olivia Salisbury right there. Fun. Let's see if we win this one. Ooh. Sarah Sacco called with the foul. It'll be a Attenborough free kick. A little box out nudge. Oh. Clear that. Bigger foot on that. Let's see. Out of bounds. As a parent of a goalie, there's nothing worse than when someone goes to take a kick at it and they whiff and the balls are sitting there in the middle of the box. <laughs> Ball just dropping in the front of the box there. Out of rugs. That's it. Out of bro. Right now pressuring Mansfield. Feels a little definitely a little tilted to our left. Here we go. Taren trying to trap the ball. Sends it through, but someone's going to get there. Again, just a little bit of miscommunication, or what it looks to be a little bit of a miscommunication. Same thing. Can we get there? It's going to be a foot race between Taron and the goalie. Goalie, come up. Goalie hesitated, so you knew she was trying to judge whether she should come up or not. She didn't know if she was going to win that foot race. That's what we were talking about earlier. You get that ball a little bit more lofted in the air and give your teammate you know, a chance Taryn, to this run is one it. that she can win. It's just her, the defender, passing back to the goalie. I'd like to see Taryn be a little bit more aggressive on that. This is one that could be dangerous. Great defense. Nice job. Oh. In the box. I know we're far away, away. That just looked like they were both going to kick the ball and one was stronger than the next. Uh, this yeah. is a gift. These are things you just hate to see. A game decided on a penalty kick for the score. I think it was just our player was a little bit stronger on that kick than the, than the Atterborough player, but don't you worry. Salisbury's going to stop this. It's a matter of guessing the right direction. She's got it. She's going left. That's it. Justice. Just called me Nostradamus, Tony, yes. next time. Uh, how many times you get a chance at a PK and when you send it over? Again, it's a goalie power, and I love seeing it. <laughs> When it's your own team, when it's your team taking that shot, same thing. I think just kind of keeping it down. It's hot enough for the goalie to correct, correctly guess what direction it's going in. Well, it's good percentage, Tony. You got 50% shot of diving the right way. Yeah. All right, we need some pressure on the Mansfield side. There we go. There we go to the middle of the Sarasaco. Can she win that? Can she yes, win it? There she she can. It. Oh, oh, nice job by the goalie coming out. Oh. oh, that was close. Nice job by the Attebro goalie to get out there and challenge. We'll look at the replay on that with Bob in a little bit. Let's go back to live play here. <laughs> Nice job. She came up, the ball on the ground. She kind of gave it a little punch to get it out. All right, now we've got to win the foot races. Karen challenging the Attebro player. We've got to continue to win these 50-50 balls, Tony. Step up by Doherty. That's a good Here lead. Here we go, Sako again. Mm -hmm. oh. Almost. 
Same thing, still fighting for it. Come on, we gotta keep playing. Gotta keep playing. You yep. can't stop and put your hands in the air, you just gotta keep running through it. There you go. You can just there tell. you go. There's no one there to see. Taryn actually no making a hustle out of, out of her position is forcing the corner kick. Nice job by <coughs> Taryn there to pressure it. She was playing. No, they gave it to the goalie. Goalie kick. Oh, jeez. Same thing, gotta win it. Out of our passing, using the whole field. Make a play on the ball. Out of our challenging everything. They're doing a nice job. Moving the ball forward, same thing, pass. There's one that should I thought was offsides. Good job getting that out the side and not the end. I thought that was a good defensive play. I thought that was an offsides by Edibro. Close. I mean, from my direction, tough to tell, but. Another throw in from Mansfield. Just no pushing in the box. Uh, corner kick. They go from a throw to a throw to a corner. Oh. Come on, I gotta win that. That ball comes out to the 30 yard line. You would think that Mansfield would have had someone there to turn that ball. All right now we gotta realign ourselves to Get in position here. There you go, you Karen Sears. Same thing. Right to back Taren to her. Smith. Right back to her. Same thing. Who's in the middle? Oh. Nice play. A great idea. Karen Sears was right there. Who's in the middle now? Got to fight through that defender. Yep. Katie Miller with a head on it, sending it forward. Again, you can see the communication here with Attenborough, spacing it out to the middle. Same thing. Just got to get through, but we got to get on that. Kaylee Smith trying to get possession off the defend, the forward there for Attenborough. Again, same thing. We seem to have open lanes here for them to shoot. Yeah. Here's another one. Attenborough's done a nice job tonight of keeping their spacing and keeping the triangles and keeping that ball moving. That's the first 10 minutes of the second half, and I gotta check my statistical person here to say, but I think Attenborough's had most of the possession in that first 10 minutes. Heavy percentage is what I'm being I think told. producer Matt said 77, but I'm not sure I'm buying his numbers anymore. <laughs> Definitely been tilted in Attleboro's favor. Cooney trying to win the possession of that, sending it up, staying in bounds. White throw in. Out on Maria Savastos. Bob, did you get a picture of those flags yet? I haven't seen them things move. <laughs> nice job by Lauren Hobaker there stepping up in front of that one. And 
We gotta turn that ball, get that back out. There you go, Abby Jean. Same, same thing, same thing. We got to win that, get back to that ball. Abby's going to go forward no matter what. She's just going right through everybody. Cooney sending it forward, just getting it out of reach. Goalie has a chance to go get that ball. Oh, here's one. Let's see. Can we... Throw in for Isabella Lennon. Again, just a little too far on our second pass forward. Again, Adabo showing their ability to pass the ball. Well, this last 27 minutes is going to come down to conditioning. Who, who's in better shape? It's been a very, very busy. There we go. Abby Jean. Sender. Sender. Just there you go. Cooney. Sender. Cooney can get that through. Fighting for it, out of bell wind, sending it. We are chasing over the field right now. There you go, out of going to lane. Out uh, forward there is all over the place. She's hustling. Darlington into the game. The Bridget. Same thing, Katie Miller stepping up. Be a white throw in for Edinburgh. She took a kick right into the stomach. It's going to be a free kick from outside the box. Again, somebody should get in front of this again. Uh, she asked for the 10 yards that time. Uh, just... Again, Adebro with most of this possession for the 16 minutes of the second half. Ooh. Good kick, just a little bit left. Yeah. I was kind of nervous, but it looked like Olivia had a good, better eye on it than I did. About as nervous <laughs> as watching Nugent <laughs> kick field goals to the Patriots. I was worried about that backside post, but it sailed past that. Again, those were balls that I think Mansfield was winning the first half. Here we go, Avery. Here we go, That's let's see. Just gets a little away. There we 
we go. Katie Miller challenging it. Now she's got to work it. And just a little too far. Got to keep that ball down. Good play Abby by Jean. Abby right there. Abby's going to set Avery up right about now. Sends it back. Beautiful. Bridget sending it forward. Just on the outside. Looked like Hanley was trying to go to Caitlin Haley on the outside. There you go, that's one for Lauren Holbaker, stay with her. Nice job by Aaron Dooling to get ahead on it and get it out of bounds. Rowan for Atterboro. Up by Marisa Vastos. Maria stepping into the line of fire there to take that one. Let's see, Abby Jean wins possession here, stays with it. As Avery making a mad run at it. Bridget Hanley. Haley on the outside. And it'll be a Mansfield throw in. Fresh legs in front for Mansfield. Oh, we got an injured. Abby's injured. Looks like she's limping on that knee. She's walking off on her own. And our videographer's still here, so it can't be too serious. Well, gonna get in front of that, the ball off. That's two people coming up on, nice job by Maria Savastos. Had two Attleboro forwards coming up. Mm. Oh. Oh. Gotta be a push there, there we go. She didn't just stop for no reason. Beautiful job by Marisa Vastos to step up, get a header on that ball that was in the top part of the box. Definitely a defensive slug fest tonight. Aaron Dooling with a big leg here, get it off. And oof. Now it's a foot race between Maria Savastos and the Attleboro player coming on. Can't get it back to Olivia Salisbury. Good boot. Big kick. Anna Darlington. To Bridget, gets through. Can Cooney get in a foot race? They're going to play it back to the goalie. And back to their goalie. And again, just out on Attleboro. You always they, get a little nervous when they pass back to the bowl, back to their goalie and that ball's bouncing on the turf as opposed to yep. just skimming the surface. You always wonder how that it's going to yep. come off the goalie's foot. Mansfield caught a break there. Throw in from my Meg Crone. Oh. oh, and sometimes I just think you need that running throw and thrown in the box versus that short throw. Karen Sears getting the ball back to the middle. Adderall stepping up, taking the ball away. Maria Savastos to Meg Crone. More than halfway gone. Done in the first, second half. Adelbro with the throw in. Nice pass in through the middle there, just off. An Adelbro player after being kicked by Aaron Dooling. Foot race to the outside. The a Adelbro throw in. 19 minutes left. I think we got to pick up our pace a little bit here and win more of the balls in the win more of the balls that are in the air. 
I think Mansfield, even though they're very young, Tony, have a very good defensive team. We've lacked a little bit this season in offense, but they definitely have shown a very good, rigid defense. I don't want to say Ben don't, don't break, but there's a lot of times we're watching these games and the ball's just going back between our 18 and their 18. It looks like ping pong. And the same thing, our defenders are a young unit except for Aaron Dooling, who is a senior. The rest are uh, sophomores and juniors. Filling in back there, so. Well, you go back to the King Phillip game. King Phillip scored well over 100 goals this season. Mansfield held him to three. And one of those, two of those came late in the second half. And we're from corner kicks. Correct. So even against the top teams in the Hawk right now, Mansfield's done a nice job holding teams to very few points. Shot on net. Nice job by Aaron Dooling getting in front of that. Going to be a corner kick. The most goals scored on Mansfield all season is, has been three by King Phillip. Everything else is two or less. So... Definitely showing some resiliency on the defense. The offense will come as they get a little bit older, a little bit more. Playing time together. Yep. Oh, that's dangerous. I was right in the middle of the box, kind of coming up to the top. No fouls here. Just get that ball out. No fouls. Oh, Great nice save by Olivia. There. And the defense kicking that out. Looks like Olivia got a little bit banged up. I think he's just checking on Olivia, make sure she's okay. Having coached Olivia in other sports, she takes a licking and keeps on ticking, I'll tell you that much. It's gonna take a lot to get her out of this game. Looks like she's okay. She gets that toughness from her from mother. From her mother. Yeah. Absolutely. I, I was about coming. to say that. I figured I might as well just say it before <laughs> I'll say it for you. <laughs> that was a nice save by Olivia. And also, uh, I think it was either Aaron or Maria to clear that ball out while she was on the ground. So, same thing. Shot on net. It's a very genuine statement, Tony, when you said Sarah Salisbury gives Olivia her toughness. <laughs> well stated. Great team defense, though. It's a nice job. Now it's about, about time I think we got to turn it up here. Yeah, got to communicate. We got to get on this ball. Here we go. There's a foot race. Is Taryn. Chasing that ball down. It's going to stay in bounds. Shielding by Atterborough. Very presumptive that it's their ball. I thought that was ours. No. I think I had a better look at it. Yeah, you are way down on that end. I'm of on the, the other side of the field. <laughs> oh, here we go. Balls. Karen Sears. Ball's going to back. Got to win possession here. Katie Biller. Ball just got away. Anna Darlington getting that up. Let's see, Sarah Sacco, ball going back to the goalie of Attleboro. She's got time to settle it. pressure it. There you go. Now she got it. And that's going to be offsides. Attleboro does a beautiful job trapping. They know to move up and leave that defender, our uh, forward just sitting there. Very experienced team, the Attleboro team. 87% of their team is juniors and seniors. Oh, Megan coming up on that. Beautiful pressure by Meg. There you go. Katie Miller coming up. Ooh. There we go. We'll get the kick here. Aaron Dooling getting the kick. 
She needs to put a boot on this. Give her teammate a chance to redirect yeah, that's that. A beautiful that's perfect. Boot. There it is. Goalie's going to come up. Oh, 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 off the goal. That's in. Who's got this? Get that in. Oh. Oh, that's going to be a corner kick for Mansfield, though. Sure is. Good aggressiveness there. That couldn't have been even better kicked. That was perfectly placed. Goalie was kind of caught in positions of how far to run up. And just like we were skipped. talking before. Just get that ball lofted up there and let that thing drop in there. Give your team a, a good shot of either redirecting it, getting it off the... I saw the waving of the hand in a circle this time, Brian. I don't know what that means. This is it. There it is. Oh! It a, that was a beautifully placed kick. For Maria Savastos to try to come up and get her foot on it. That's a beautiful set we've, play. We've seen that play many times. Coach Smith likes that one. Of course, the opponents have no idea what we're talking about. Well, Sarasaka, they've got to get in front of it, forcing Atterborough to kick it out. Got a throw in from Mansfield. Megan Crone. Same thing, kick out. I, I think we need a throw in the middle of the box here. Give yourself an opportunity versus the short. Here we go. Mm. Yeah, we do seem to like that short throw in. I think it's just tough to control when they just kind of throw it at your feet. Well, you got Meg Crone kick one to the middle of the box. Ooh. Oh, goalie came up and took that away. Good was, pressure by Mansfield right now, Tony. That was perfectly placed, I thought. They can keep this pressure up for the last 12 and a half minutes. We should be all right. That's a button, I see. That could go over her head. Oh, that was a race between Sarasaco and the Adabo defender. Here we go. Again, I th think Taryn's going to get there and that or need some fresh legs after they've been in for a while. Yeah, we're kicking it too close to the 18. We've got to bring that out about 8 to 10 yards. Taryn Sears trying to control the ball here, sends it back to Katie Miller. Katie Miller gets a. She's going to go. When she gets to run a little bit, that's perfect placement. Let it go, It'll be a corner. I'd like to see Katie make one move, get to the 18 and just crank Break it. Great one. But when she's running, she can actually place that ball perfectly. It was to Sarah Sacco, out of defender kicking it out, forcing a corner kick. Corner kick, Katie Miller getting a foot on it. Anyone else there in the middle? Katie Miller with a head on it. What? Sarasaka with one, and the goalie picks it up. There's the boot. Now oh, she's there you go. go. This is Kaylee Smith here. She should we got get one move. We crosses. got the numbers. Oh, the right idea off of uh, Sarasaka's head there. Just goes away from her to the defender. Oh, big bounce over Katie Miller, who was running at that. Attleboro seems to have numbers right now. Beautiful Good job by Maria Savastos. Karen Sears get a foot on that one outside. And no one for Mansfield on the outside there. So Coach usually subs at the 12-minute mark, so I think he's liking what he's seeing right uh, now. Well, here comes uh, Cooney into the game. Catherine Cooney. Coming up to the forward position. I think he's left everybody else in the game who was here. Oh. Yeah, we've been getting two or three subs there at the 12-minute mark, so I think he was riding that. Riding that. Meg Crone, roof. send it forward. Let's see. The pressure of Taryn Smith and Catherine Cooney. If we can get across here or off the Attleboro def defender, it'll be a throw in for Mansfield. Quick throw in to Meg Crone. Same thing. We gotta get one off here. One Who's more. Who's there? Um, They're trying to offside. They got him. 
That was the right pressure that you were hoping for. Meg Curl did a nice job kind of getting that ball yeah, into the box. She's got a grin from ear to ear. She knew it. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Got to get on that ball. There's Taryn putting some pressure on it. Got to stay on your feet there. Katie Miller. There you go, Meg Curl. There we go. Oh. There you go, right. that would be free kick for Mansfield. I think I know who's going to take this free kick. She's going to come from way back on the defense. Aaron Dooling coming up. Maria Savasto set up on the opposite side where she plays defense. There's a shot on net. This wide. That was a nice job. They snuck Marissa Vastos up to the other side of the field from her side she normally plays defense on. Big Bob's monitor is telling us it's 44 degrees outside, Tony. So it's definitely starting to dip out there. Yeah. That ball's not going to fly as far as it normally would. There's Maria Savaslos kicking one. Taryn. That's perfect. No, nope, that's offside. Taryn's got to pull back on that. Bob's got his winter jacket on. His parka. And we're playing it short, passing it along. Over Elizabeth Lennon's head. Kaylee Smith trying to fight for position. There she goes. Out on Kaylee. I always thought you'd be the type to wear that snuffle up against old school <laughs> jacket. You bringing that back, Bob? Oh, that's going to be a free kick for Attaboro. It's a timeless jacket, Bob. It's about Lennon kicking it up. Same. Let's see if Karen Sears can win this. She does. Come on, Mansfield. Cootie to the middle is one that Taryn can now Taryn. Taryn's got to turn it on. There we go. Oh, there you go. Cootie got back. Just happens to be kicked off of her out of bounds. Here comes Avery Hawthorne for Taryn Smith. Just under seven minutes left. Be a throw in for Attleboro. All right, six and a half minutes. Let's go. Let's make something happen. Uh, here we go. We're going to get on that. Nice by dueling. Attleboro with possession of the ball. Oh, step up by Darlington. Go up, cross from the Attleboro player. Don't follow the box. Aaron Dooling with the kick. Oh. Out of player stepping up. Cooney. There's Katie Miller to Cooney. Go. Mm. Again, just if you hesitate, the Attleboro player is going to take that ball away. Same nice. thing. Nice by Dooling. Maria Savasto's getting there to get the ball out. Be a throw in for Attleboro. Get that ball out. Beautiful job clearing that by Karen Sears. Got to pressure it. Somebody should be on the outside. Kaylee Smith running out there. Just chasing him a little too much right now. Be yeah. out about throwing. Good There's cross. Shot. Olivia Salisbury there on the line to make the catch. There we go. There's the punt. Nice job by the Adabo player to send it through. 
It's going to be a foot race between Kaylee and Avery. Both forwards kind of got their motor started. Putting some pressure on the goalie. And timeout. it looks like a timeout. They're going to take a two-minute break while the timeout's going on. We'll be right back. All right, we're back from the timeout. Throw in for Attleboro. All right, let's go, Tony. We've got five minutes left in this game. Clock's being – clock. No, no, it's, it's on not, the field. It's on the field now, five minutes in the second half. So Producer Matt's head was in my way. I couldn't see the scoreboard for a second. Uh, I can tell you it's 0-0. Zero, zero. That I know. That's it. We need Mansfield to make one move here. An opportunity to get a shot on net. Well, and you looked at the wins this year, Tony. 2-0, two 2-1, nothing, 1-0. Two one, one nothing, uh, it's going to be a foot race. That'll be Olivia Salisbury coming up. You get that. Punt gets to about the 45, kind of hits the ground. Let's see who can get ahead on it to get it over. Uh, oh, ooh. that's a push. There you go. Wayne win that one. Here we go. Aaron Dooling stepping up to the ball. That was a shove in the back by on number 24. There you go. Oh, can get that one. Meg Crone, get on that, get on that. There she go, forcing them to kick it out. Oh, no. Oh. We got the extra defender from the referee there. There's one for... That's in. Oh, oh. we're going to keep that one down. Nice shot oh. by Karen Sears there. Just sailing a little high. That's beautiful pressure. Karen looked up a hair too early. Goal kick. I see Mansfield putting some pressure. That will be out on Mansfield. Throw in for Attenborough. And that will be an Atta Mansfield throw in. And take advantage of this now. Not much time left. That's it. Forcing Attebro to kick the ball out of bounds. Another throw in for us. Oh. There you go. Aaron Dooley kicking to the outside. They're just outside the reach of Meg Crone. Karen Sears getting the ball off. There's Avery. Can she control it? Oh, get one. Ooh. Oh, that's a push. That's a got to be a push. Oh, just outside. I thought the push was going to be called. But I don't see Coach that's, Smith getting too upset about no, it. No, so. no. I like the pressure being applied right now. There you go. There's Kaylee Smith getting a foot on it. Same thing. It's our opportunity to get one in the box. Here comes Katie Miller. You can tell. Karen that. Sears. I think both teams realize there's a sense of urgency right now. Nobody wants to end with a tie. Uh, there you go. The same thing. Step up. I don't like the spin on that ball. That's spinning back. Karen Sears. That's going to be off white. There should be a green throw in. Green ball, green ball. All right, Katie Miller. I would there like to see Center. a nice long throw at this point in the game, Tony. None of these short passes. They just got to yeah. huck that ball down. There you go, outside. Out of bro with possession, let's see. Aaron Dooling, not just kicking it out of bounds. There we go. Nice step up by. Got to send Karen Sears. We go. Got... Cody's on the run. Let's see. It's going to be a foot race between the Attleboro defender. It'll be another throw in. Here we go. Sorry if my shoulder was in the way on the film on that one. It was a beautiful run. If you those for, for those of you who missed it, Bob knocked Tony to the floor on that one. Good, strong movement by Bob, the videographer. Uh, <laughs> that's the end of the game with the whistle. It's going to be end with a 0-0 tie. 
Some real good pressure there in the end by Mansfield. Puts Mansfield at 5-4-3 and three on the season. Have a great night, everybody. We'll see you next time.